everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. Welcome. My name is Katie Chiosh. I'm a realtor with Abbott Realty here in Newport News, Virginia, and this is part four of my home buyers class. Last week, I promised we would discuss the underwriting process of your loan application to wrap up the pre-approval segment. My go-to lending guru, Kristen Ball with Town Bank Mortgage, has shared some in-depth information with me to help you better understand exactly what to expect in the underwriting process. So let's imagine now we've met with our lender and completed our loan application. Your loan officer at this point has helped you gather all documentation needed to accompany your application and has submitted it to the underwriter. No matter what type of loan you're applying for, the underwriter is looking at several factors, including, first of all, your ability to repay the loan. They will look at your income and your debts to determine that you have enough gross income to repay the new loan while still paying your established debts. This is determined by your debt to income ratio or DTI. Each loan program will have a different DTI limit that will need to be met in order to qualify for the loan. Another thing they will be looking at is your likelihood of repaying the loan. Your credit score is a three number score that lets lenders know how trustworthy you are when it comes to repaying your debts. All lenders will evaluate your credit score to determine your eligibility. In the eyes of a lender, a lower score means you're less likely to make payments on time or even pay back the loan at all. Your score also determines what types of loans you'll have access to and the rate of interest you'll pay. Those who have a great credit score are more likely to get a lower interest rate than those with a low credit score. Your credit score is based on your payment history, credit utilization, how much credit you have available versus how much you use, your credit mix, and your length of credit history. They're also going to look at the home's value. Your lender will send a third party appraiser to the property to determine its value. The value of the home must be greater than or equal to, in some cases, the amount you're asking to borrow. Otherwise, you will need to come up with the difference as part of your down payment. The lender will also base something called a loan to value ratio off of the appraisal. An LTV ratio is calculated by dividing the amount borrowed by the appraised value of the property and it's expressed as a percentage. The required maximum LTV ratio will generally vary anywhere from 80% to 97% depending on the type of loan. Another thing they will look at, your down payment and source of funds. Your lender will want to review documentation such as your bank statements to ensure that you have funds available for down payment and any closing costs associated with your loan. Once the underwriter has considered all factors, you will either be approved or denied. If you're denied, consult with your loan officer for guidance on credit enhancement resources or financial management to remedy any reasons for denial. They have programs to offer and will be your best resource in getting your finances where you need them to qualify for the loan you want. Of course, if you have any questions or would like any guidance on how to leverage this information to improve your financial picture, reach out to either myself or Kristen Ball from Town Make Mortgage, or you can reach out to Randy Harsey from Movement Mortgage. These are all excellent resources and they have everything that you need to get you on track. Once you have your pre-approval letter, if you haven't already met with me, do. You are now ready to take the next step and you're prepared to make an offer on the right house for you. In my next video, we'll be talking about the exciting next steps in the home buying process. Still to come later in the series, our deep dive into credit repair. Thank you so much for joining me. Reach out to me anytime via phone, text, email. I'm here as your resource and your guide on your path to reaching your real estate goals. For additional resources, visit my Facebook page at Katie Chiosh Realtor. I have free guides available for buyers, sellers, and millennials. I just posted my new 2021 spring guides the other day, so be sure to check it out. Also, check out the link to my blog on there. There's more videos, articles, infographics. As I always say, it's packed with information. You can also email me, katie at abbott.com, or visit my website, katie.abbottrealty.com, where you can register with me and begin your journey to home ownership. Thanks again for joining me. Stay safe, and I look forward to seeing you all next week.